Let's now tie things together from this week. We're going to, on the top, put this production function. Remember, we're going to have a production function that is labor versus output. So we're going to be holding A constant, our total factor productivity, and capital constant. On the bottom, we're going to have our labor versus the real wage. And this is going to be our labor market where we have an upward sloping supply of labor. And then we're going to have a downward sloping demand of labor, which is also representing the overall MPL in this market. As a side, remember, it's the slope of the production function. So you can see that downward slope. What we notice here is we have three unknowns, right? We have three unknowns. We don't know what the way the output is. We don't know what the wage is. And we don't know what the overall amount of labor is, right? One, two, three. We don't know. These are all unknowns. However, we have three functions, right? We have three graphs. We have three equations, however you want to think about this. We have our MPL, which is our demand for labor, right? We have our supply of labor, and we also have our production function, which is our output. So we have those three different functions. Notice how we can solve out on this bottom labor market. We can solve out for the full employment level of employment, which gives us a market clearing wage. And then we plug that back in to our production function, which we have A and K fixed, and we can figure out our Y star. So the way that you're always going to be solving these types of questions is you are going to take that MPL and that supply of labor you're going to solve these, so you're going to get that W star, and you're going to get that L star. You're going to take that L star, you're going to plug it into the production function so that we can get our Y star. And what exactly is this Y star? Well, Y star is the full employment, right? Because we have our L star, which is that full employment level of employment. This Y star is going to be my full employment level of output. And this, everybody, is us putting the classical labor market and the production function in complete equilibrium.